Hi everyone, o m g o n a here, and today I'm gonna be watching Korean drama Amogoto s h i p c h i a n a Summer Strike episode 5. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. I finally have time to watch this. I've been trying to avoid、um, spoilers on Twitter. Gosh, it's, it's really hard. I have a lot of s h e w o n s dance in my <laughs> timeline, but I've, I've been good. <laughs> I haven't been spoiled. I don't. think so. But yeah,、uh, last episode, Yorum was finally able to feel that she was part of the village, and that made me really happy because I mean, she's staying here for, I don't know, at least at least a year. Maybe she's gonna stay here for good. We don't know yet, but that was nice. But we also saw, a bit, well, we heard about. I almost said s u n g y u m No, that's the wrong one. I'm also watching Run On right now. But、um, Debom, we learned a little bit about his family and how they used to、uh, own the billiard hall. And the person that died there was his sister. So I hope that they actually talk about it in this episode. But yeah, we'll see. But before that, make sure to subscribe for more Korean drama reactions. And if you want to watch these reactions in full, head on to my Patreon. It would be in there. All my drama reactions and One Piece reactions would be there. But yeah, let's just get right into this. Let's go. Oh, okay. We're getting right into it 20 years ago. Oh! But did he not see his dad like running out of the place? Was it the dad then? Maybe she was already sickly? Why would you say that to your child? Can police like just approach a child like this without like a guardian? Whose father could this be? It seems like they're setting it up that he's quite an impact to Debom's life. I guess even as a child, he never really talked. Oh, they took the father. Yeah, because he saw him. Unless he has like a twin brother that looks exactly like him, and that was the person he saw running out of the building. But how did she die? Like, was it murder? Was she just sick? Who strangled? Well, how can you talk about that when the kid's there? And I guess the mother would hate him too because. <gasps> Don't tell me. The trauma to this boy. Oh. Why would you leave your child like that? Then now he's all alone. I wonder if his dad's still alive. <laughs> like a gyol. Is <laughs> she practicing how to like say sorry to Debom? <laughs> oh, she has like a, a younger a younger brother. They have such nice names. Hanul is Sky, and she's Bom Spring. Like, what's wrong with your dad? Why is he like this? <laughs> she just ended with Chesa Omnida after everything that she was writing on her notebook. Well, I guess it's an apology. <laughs> He's keeping all of them? I don't know. That's kind of creepy. It's kind of cute, but kind of creepy.
Well, she went to school, <laughs> so I don't think she can come. Yeah. Like, she just reacted based on what he said, so she's not really wrong. Oh, he's so pretty! Annoyingly so. Looks too beautiful. It's annoying. <laughs> Oh. When she was drunk. <laughs> what did she tell him when she was like totally drunk? <laughs> Good day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> Why can't you just say like which day it was? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so me. I sing everything. She was getting bullied, hey? That's why she was not going to school. Like, why do they do this? These people are crazy. Like, what's fun in that? And then the school never really does anything about it. Wow, that teacher. Like, you saw a child looking like that. Well, Bom might be able to do it. Did I say Bom? I mean Yorum. You can do it. I know you can do it. <laughs> He's using it as a blackmail. Oh no. Just do it, girl. I think it would be good for you. Wow, her house really looks like a house now. She looks so pretty, though. Even without makeup. She looks so cute. <laughs> her face. Gosh, she looks so beautiful. How is this even possible? <laughs> She's so pretty. I've never had... Tomatoes and sugar together? Would it taste good? There's no light. Eh. Oh, I bet he's gonna change the light, hey? <laughs> oh, I was right. <laughs> Why? <laughs> wow, what's wrong with Debom? It's just like... Oh, he's too obvious! <laughs> They're starting to look alike, actually. <laughs> it's an inside joke between the two of them now. I know she's saying that because she cares, but then maybe talk to her about it in private. Because I do agree with what she's saying. Life is indeed about timing. Well, not having a goal is also a goal, I think. She just didn't want to do anything. Is 
It's really annoying though when people tell you that. Especially at her age. <laughs> She's he's back and like and everyone already left. So many things happened while he was gone. <laughs> that was just awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh i've been shipping i've been shipping them then i realized that yeah june is his son so he has a wife unless oh wait i guess they're just really close friends maybe she's gonna ask her to like do her job when she's gone. <laughs> <Young -yo. laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> That was so funny he was saying ah you ah you as in like ah <laughs> but he's like, oh, are you? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh. Tell us. Why would you start it and not let us know anything? Maybe she was close to Sona. His sister? Oh, no. The girl's... Uh, kids who think that they're being cool when they do this uh, what does that matter to you yeah go for it girl <laughs> <laughs> Ah, kids, they're gonna get, like, a reality check when they have to, like, get a job. And they have nothing on their resume but, like, acting like thugs. <laughs> That's true. It's a, it's a skill to have. Hmm. Uh, if I remember, I'll share a poem in a bit. I do miss walking at night, you know. I don't think I'd do it now. But before, when it was a little bit safer out there, <laughs> it was nice walking at night. Probably got beat up. So why are you going around like that? <sighs> exactly. She's getting bullied because of you. Oh, and his brother too. They're all traumatized from this. <laughs> I guess he does like her. Maybe he doesn't have a wife? Like, what's going on? Why are you so worried? She's totally a Nuna to him. Does this house look like Gu Gyeong's house? <laughs> Mr. Goose House from my liberation notes. Hmm. 
<laughs> He's worried that she's gonna do something crazy again. <laughs> You gotta tell him first before he promises. So he doesn't want it. Why are you forcing him? I'm thinking that she used to be like best friends with Debom's sister. Oh, <laughs> so happy that the first thing that she did was give her a hug because that's exactly what she needed. <sighs> Her house became so much better. <laughs> she got furniture now. <laughs> Is this Solyun? Or I'm just tripping? Oh. Okay, it always feels... I mean, the episodes are shorter than usual. Like, regularly, dramas are an hour long, but summer strike is much shorter but like it always feels like nothing much happened so i had to like sit here for a bit after it ends and i have to think about the episode right because it it is slow and nothing much really happens or maybe we're just so used to watching dramas that are so intense that things were happening reveals after reveals every like 10 15 minutes but this one when you look at it straight nothing happened okay but like when you think about it there were subtle things like the differences between a jiong and uh yorum and how like they're kind of opposites because Jiyoung has been here her whole life and she's been wanting to go to Seoul. And then you have Yorum who's lived in Seoul, but she's staying here. And the difference in their perspectives, even the way Yorum said that um, the kids were not treating Debom like a fool. Like he's not, they don't think of him as an easy guy that they can just do whatever to him. They're being like that because they're comfortable being with him and so they can be themselves they respect him but they really enjoy his company and we could see that from june telling him about the money and not to his dad right like he went to debon first because he feels comfortable that uh debon would not um scold him that debon would understand and help him and we can see that, like, Bom did the same thing. Like, she went to, to Yorum when she had nowhere else to go because she knows that Yorum would understand what she is feeling. And that was just so cool. I get it, you know, like, why they were so worried about Bom. That, okay, Bom, you're in second year of your high school. You're going to graduate soon. You're going to be an adult. And life is about timing. I really agree with what she is saying. Because it's true. When you're younger, you don't get that. You just feel like, I have all the time in the world. I have the energy. I just have no money. But, like, I'm just going to enjoy my life and all that. And then you reach adult, adulthood. 
<laughs> and you have to pay bills and you need to get a job. You have to make money. You have so many dreams. And it's like, it's true. It's all about timing. And you really have to think about your future. But I feel like the way Yoram did it, like acknowledging someone's pain first and saying, do you want to talk about it? And if she's not ready, then don't force her and don't like talk down to her. Because Yoram was talking to her at the same level that she is in, as opposed to the other adults, that they are just looking down on Bom as if they're already assuming that she's gonna be, she's gonna grow up as a bad person. Right? That's why they're saying that, and the way they're saying it is like that. But Yoram was more, I guess, because of the state that she's in that she's gone through a lot that caused her to move here. She understands what Boom was going through. So yeah, that I really like that because they showed it in different ways through different people, but it was they're basically saying the same thing. Um I was saying that there is a poem that I wanted to share. I don't even know if I can share it here, but I read it from a book. Oh no, I don't have the book here. But I have it saved on my phone. Because Yoram said, I've been trying to please people all my life. So now I want to get closer to myself. And it reminded me of this poem called Narang Narang by Yi Jang Gun. Okay, I'm going to read it. and Maybe I'll just put subtitles or I'm just going to translate it. But it goes like Narang Narang. By Yi Jang Gun. 너랑 나랑도 좋지만 가끔은 나랑 나랑 밀린 이야기를 나눈다. 뭐가 그리 바쁘니, 뭐가 그리 속상하니. 아자 아자 입내자. 가끔은 나랑 나랑 거울 앞에서. So I translated it, and what it uh, what it means is, um, so narang narang is like me and me. So I translated as it as with myself. It's so this poem was written written by a poet named Yi Jang Gun, and so it goes. Although you and I is good too, like meeting with you and talking with you is is good. I like it. Sometimes with myself, I talk and catch up. What makes you that busy? What makes you so upset? You got this. Cheer up. Sometimes I say this to myself in front of a mirror. Like what she said just reminded me of this poem, Narang Narang. Because we're always, you know, even when we, we meet people, we always say, oh, hey, how are you? Right? We, that's our greeting. How are you? How are you doing? But we never really take the time to ask ourselves like, hey, like, how am I doing? Right? Like, we just never do that. And yeah, I just remembered that poem when I heard what, what Yoram had to say. So yeah, lesson for today. <laughs> Check on yourselves because you have to love yourself before you can love other people. Right? You can't give what you don't have. So you have to love yourself first before you can love other people. But yeah. I mean, I I feel like it takes great effort to enjoy a drama like this. So I understand people who just dismiss it because they don't have the time of the day to actually think about it. You know, like, and that's fine. Like, people enjoy different things. But I just want to say that there is so much, so much to think about in dramas like this. Like, slow pace, quiet not makjang kind of dramas and yeah that's the kind of drama summer strike is i hope it's um because there's only 12 episodes but i hope it's it's gonna be good yeah i'm excited to see the rest of it yeah let me know what you thought of the, the episode down below that was episode five of summer strike i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching bye bye